I'm Catherine Campbell. I am the program manager for the Refence program at DARPA I'm in the Biological Technologies Office. Um, and today we are here to do a demonstration in the wave flume to showcase our refence structures and how they are suitable for protecting our coastlines. And it really comes down to economics. So with 1,700 coastal installations, that's a lot. Tyndall Air Force Base, uh, which was destroyed by Hurricane Michael, that's an over $5 billion cost to repair that. So if we can help prevent those things, we actually end up uh, being on the winning side of the economics of the storms. So I think in terms of how DARPA structured the, the program is that they had an open call and there were lots of different groups that were interested in submitting proposals. And what they actually did was they tried to allow those different groups to talk to each other and build bigger teams which meant that they had more dynamic teams and people are working together now that didn't necessarily know each other before. So that allows for innovation. I think allowing everyone to be a winner means that we have, so we have more solutions in the end. There's not a one size fits all um, method to using natural nature-based features. And in fact, even within the same method, it's gonna vary how you use it depending on your site. So just having more people working on it, more minds innovating, allows us to have multiple solutions. We really are looking at all these three teams as unique and that at the end of the day, if all three teams are successful, that we will have uh, solutions that can be used at a variety of different coastal environments. And that's really the key, right? We don't want something that's just gonna work in one area. Erdic, in addition to having a lot of engineering with nature uh, programs, which are you know essential for helping us with our DARPA programs, they also have this very beautiful facility uh, with the wave flume that can help us understand how these structures actually will mitigate the waves that are coming in from storms. Um, and we need to know that before we put these structures in the water so we know that they actually will work as we intend them to. Erdic has been a great partner in this experience. I mean, they really have the facilities we need, uh, they have the expertise we need, um, they're really helping us to make sure this comes to fruition and that it can be transitioned. I mean, the Army Corps of Engineers is a natural transition partner for installing these at scale if they're successful. Well, as an ecologist, I always care about ecology, but one of the things that's important here is that we're not trying to create a new type of breakwater. So just a new type with new materials and new holes, right? We're trying to make something that is a reef that, that does as well or better than a natural reef and is self-healing and self-sustaining. And so we rely on the organisms, the plants and the animals for that. Nature knows what it's doing and the processes will continue. So look around and learn about what is actually happening and how can we, how can we use, that, use that power, um, use those processes to better protect ourselves.